this video shows how you can use disk part utility in windows to make the partitions or format c drive g drive all these things for that you are go to the command prompt to windows and then uh, type disk part and then it will launch one utility called as a disk partition so here if you want to know like what commands are supported you can just type help and uh, you can see these are the list of commands that are available over here in this disk part you can set the uh, selected partition as active you can add a mirror to a simple volume assign a drive leader or mount point to selected volume manipulate volume or disk attributes attach a virtual disk file auto mount break a mirror set so all all of these commands are available over here so if you want to format you can use this format command if you want to get more information about specific command you can use help and then command name so let us say you want to understand like what the list command does over here we have got one list command so what, uh, you can do it like this help list and then it will give details about that command so here you can give this uh, here they have given example list disk what it does is that it displays a list of disks so if you do it list disk you can see it is uh, showing how many disks are attached to this particular laptop so right now there is only disk and that is disk 0 if you want to select that disk you can use this command select disk 0 and uh, you can see disk 0 is now the selected disk so whatever uh, operation you want to do you want to first select the disk for example if there are multiple disks then you will have to select specific disk by using that uh, number uh, so right now there is just one disk so I have selected disk 0 but uh, if you have multiple disk then I would have selected disk 1, 2, 3 like that. Now right now I am on the disk 0 now uh, I want to uh, like see what are the partitions are there I can use this command partition list partition and here it will display the list of partitions available on that particular disk. So there are 7 partitions on that uh, disk and it also shows the size and type of that particular partition for example uh, first partition uh, partition number one is system partition and size of that partition is 260 mb similarly we have got a reserved that is 16 mb then primary uh, partitions are there partition number three and four with 421 gb and 25 gb respectively so this is primary partition is basically uh, the drives the partition that we actually use that is C drive D drive that is called as primary partitions so there are two primary partitions uh, primary partition uh, 3 and 4 and the size is 421 GB and 25 GB so uh, this partition 3 is actually I have used for C drive and this partition 4 I have used it for D drive so if you want to see like uh, what are the volumes or the drives you can use this command called as a list volume so here you can see that uh, I have got C drive, D drive on, and uh, the volume is 1 and 2 and you can see this uh, size of this uh, C drive is 500, uh, 421 GB then D drive is 25 GB so actually these volumes are mapped to these partitions so if you can see this 421 GB this partition 3 is actually linked to the C drive then D drive we have got 25 GB which is actually linked to the partition number 4 over here so uh, when you get a disk that is you have to uh, first of all make the partitions and once you do the partitions then you have to create the volumes so some volumes are like default for example a CD DVD ROM volume is actually E over here volume 0 then uh, I have created C drive D drive partitions that is uh, uh, volumes uh, which are mapped to these partitions as I shown earlier and there are some other uh, volumes which are actually uh, reserved for the system like system drivers windows drivers then Lenovo uh, partition is there so this is actually uh, used by the uh, windows system or uh, like the, uh, this laptop is from Lenovo so they have created one partition to store their own data and you can see these partitions are hidden and it also shows like uh, which partition we have got the uh, boot like operating system is installed so you can see that for volume 1 we have got uh, in the information column boot they have written boot it means that windows is uh, installed on that particular drive or volume and uh, apart from that what you can do is you can uh, create the partitions on disk you can format that partition all these commands are there so uh, first of all what you have to do is you have to uh, like to create the partitions you can use this command help if you uh, go here create a volume partition or virtual disk so create command is there to uh, create the volume partition etc so if you can use this help create 
you can see that uh, you can uh, uh, use these commands to create partition volume and virtual disks now already we have got these uh, partitions uh, let us say partition 3 and 4 and uh, let us say if you want to format the partition 4 then uh, what you can do is you can use the command called as format so if you use help format here they are given different different uh, options for that command and how you can use it in the bottom they are given examples format fs is equal to interface that means uh, we will be formatting that uh, drive uh, selected partition with the file system interface and then label we can give any label and then quick formatting will be done so that is how you can format the partition so before that you have to select the partitions so partition 4 and you can see partition 4 is now selected now you can execute this command format but right now I'm not gonna use this command because I don't want to format the that particular partition because if once you format the partition or drive what happens is that all the data is removed from that particular partition or drive so you can just play around that be careful that uh, you don't need to you should not use this format command unless you are very sure because you will lose the data and another thing you need to remember is that whenever you start the command prompt uh, and execute this disk part command what you have to do is that before starting this command prompt you need to start it in the mm, uh, like you know if you right click you will get this option run as administrator so remember that only when you uh, run this command prompt as ad administrator then only you will be able to execute uh, most of the commands of this particular utility this part because if you are not administrator then you will not be able to format any try or create partitions on the disk thanks for watching this video